Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for July, I was just saying how time flies. Um, so we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, we're going to see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course and vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamp. So if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading, if you so choose. Okay, as I always say, guys, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation, sometimes, you know, you can stick around sometimes, um, as there could be just sometimes messages, sometimes, 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 <laughs> uh, as there could be just messages that sometimes jump out and speak to you. Okay, and of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in. I'm going to clarify these off, off, off um, camera, guys, because that's going to just take too long um, and take these in and I'll be back. All right, so Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner. Um, if this isn't your situation, if I don't pick up on your situation. All right, so Capricorn, I don't feel like you was expecting this person to kind of come into your life or for you to feel like actually taking a relationship serious. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I feel like we do have that hermit card, which talks about, you know, just in deep thought, you know, sometimes that reflects isolation. We talk about the hermit card, we're talking about isolation, um, going within, asking, asking yourself those important questions. Um, and that's coming from a place of having met this person or this person approaching you with you know wanting to have something serious with you and you actually considering it you actually asking yourself those important questions um you know we do have that three of wands which talks about just kind of waiting waiting for your answers pretty much waiting for your answers waiting for answers you have to questions that you had um yeah we do have the empress card emperor card there which talks about just kind of standing firm um but yeah, I feel like this person, you weren't expecting this. I just get this unexpected vibe here, if I'm honest with you. This person is someone that you would, you want it to be victorious. You want it to be successful. There's someone who you're very highly attractive to, very sought after as well. This person could be with the Queen of Wands, very ambitious, very passionate type of person. And you do feel like, you know, they can actually cause your world or have you know positive experiences with this is something that can actually turn out really well Capricorn for some of you you're surprised in yourself that you've actually met someone like this however there is that three of cups so I feel like and that's where the unexpectedness comes in I feel like maybe you was dating or speaking to someone else or something someone maybe not that serious it could be for a lot of you it was not really that serious but they're still kind of around um yeah yeah this person showing up as the king the king is a very serious stable reliable uh loyal type of card type of king and they're seeing this as a new an opportunity to build something to start something there is this slow moving with them though i'm not sure whether i feel like that's to do with you more so not to say that they're aware of what's going on in terms of just your thoughts your thinking your emotions what you're processing but it's like they're wanting to fix things. They're wanting to kind of, not even so much fix things. Fix is too much of a strong word, I feel. But kind of get things on track or feed this in the way that it needs to be fed. But it seems like what they're doing, and this is just kind of how they were feeling, what they're doing wasn't amounting to much. Um, but they do have this strong, or acknowledging that they have this strong connection with you. Strong spiritual connection. Even for some of you, they could be seeing you as a soulmate. A twin flame type of thing and again that's where this surprising element comes in for you i don't feel like you was expecting it but the fact that this is not kind of moving in the way that they would like or that they would 
hope or what that or or that they think it would move especially when you're meeting someone who you just kind of just have this connection where it's like okay it just feels right to then move down that path because it's not naturally because of what you're kind of processing it's caused them to feel burdened and very worried or stressed around this and this is in the kind of recent past the way you guys are kind of coming from but bringing it to where you are at the moment you're showing up as the queen the queen of coins so it's you know you're kind of maintaining putting in work maintaining this uh, doing what needs to be done to just kind of keep this flowing nicely they're showing up as the wheel of fortune so you know they've come out of this stressful burden space of now feeling like things are turning around in their favor with the wheel of fortune but what's going on for you is is that you're still kind of processing there is this processing um and this feeling of loss as well i'm not sure i feel like for the majority of you it's this feeling of loss the loss is coming from maybe a lifestyle uh, it could be a person i don't feel like it's a person really i don't feel like it, as much as there is this person that you've been engaging with to whatever capacity i just don't feel like for the majority of you that loss is around that i feel like maybe that loss it could be could be yeah it could be it could be someone that maybe you we do have that empress card there so it could be someone that you could have maybe maybe the mother or father of your children someone that you've already created something with um but this could also be the loss of a lifestyle the loss of a life that uh, that you kind of have or had yeah there is doubt that's coming in for you little doubts thoughts of doubts or thoughts of you know naturally especially if you're transitioning from one space to the next you know especially if you're not sure how things are going to work out that's natural to have but definitely this process in this feeling of loss around something to do with this maybe other person or just a life um but you're seeing you're seeing it as the solution you're seeing like this you're acknowledging that there is a transformation it's like a transformation needs to happen i need to go through this transformation and you you understand that that's the answer to something it's the answer to something take that as it resonates guys but when we're talking about the death card we're talking about the death of something and what comes after the death of rebirth the birthing of something else so the death card talks about huge transformation big transformation like i said this is either around a previous life or a lifestyle or it could be someone that you've created something with that you've just kind of maybe gotten into a comfortable space with where because you're not in a committed relationship it's like okay well you know we can maybe you know hang out or have a bit of fun whatever the case may be um even though we might have kids together or or whatever that empress is represented but again it's this feeling of loss and knowing that there needs to be some form of transformation around this i need to change something i need to transform something you know, your person, I feel like you, you know exactly where your person stands. Your person is seeing this as long-term, someone that they can have uh, in their life for, for long-term, you know, with a the six there. Seeing things turn around, then how it was. Again, we're coming from this stressful period for them. Um, but there is this communication card. This other person's either communicated something to you or they're wanting to communicate something to you regarding this relationship. But ultimately, they're wanting victory around that communication. So I'm not sure what that communication is. They might have already had it. They might have already had this communication. Them saying something to you. Yeah. This is interesting. We've got the two, which is not wanting to acknowledge something. I'm not sure whether this person is privy to what you have. Yeah, they could be privy to this thing that was going on for you, which is why they're not wanting to acknowledge it because there is a lot of love here that they do have it, you that might surprise you as well capricorn is that already uh, yeah yeah you know i feel like this person showing up as the king this is someone who knows what they want you know they're mature enough to understand what it is that they're, they're looking for what it is that they're wanting a lot of love there wanting to build something establish something with you maintain what you've already established keep it moving and advance that as well this person's serious pull it in a nutshell this person's serious you've got some changes to do some transformation to go through um you know i just feel like this person will be 
I was going to say patient enough, but, you know, who knows where this leads to. We'll move into part two of the reading in a minute. Um, for those that are interested, link is in the description bar below. But, um, yeah, it's just you now need to go through a change. I feel like you've been living your life in a certain way, which has been fine as a single person, which has been fine for someone who's not exclusively dating or committed to anyone. But now this person has either entered your life or approached you with something. It's like, okay, I need to make a change around my life or around a situation that I had go that I had going on. You know, which moves you into a place where you start to slow things down. We've got the Knight of Cups there. You move into a place where you start to just kind of slow things down. Why? Because of this shift, this change. You're wanting to get on top or come out on top when it comes to just where you're at and what you're having, what you're having to process and what you're having to go through. Um, this moving away from whatever this is towards that knife cup, which talks about emotional happiness, towards what you're building and establishing with this person. You know, that three of coins, which talks about collaboration, relationship, you know, coming together, a teamwork. So you move into a mindset of just kind of slowing things down. Not sure how this person responds to that. Um, we'll find out in part two of the reading. Like I said, link is in the description bar below, guys, for those of you that are interested. Um, but as it stands, as it stands, yeah, you know, you've, there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity for you to have something serious, stable, reliable, loyal when it comes to this person here. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. Um, other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And for those that are coming over to part two, I shall see you in a bit.